Thanks to the Washington Post tonight, we are learning more about what the president's lawyers are advising him when it comes to his comments, at least, on Jeff Sessions and Bob Mueller. Quote, several lawyers around Trump have been urging the president to stop his saber rattling against Sessions and Mueller, adding that his comments send a signal to Mueller that the president's trying to shut down or curtail the investigation as if he does have something to hide. Well, with us tonight to talk about all this, Jill Weinbanks back with us, one of the special prosecutors during the Watergate scandal, former general counsel to the U.S. Army. Michael Crowley's back with us, senior foreign affairs correspondent for Politico. And, of course, Jeremy Bash, former chief of staff at CIA, DOD, and former chief counsel for House Intel. Jill, you can start off. What do you make of the legal advice uh, the president is getting? That is good advice. I don't expect that he's going to follow it any more than he has followed any of the other advice he's gotten. He's making a mistake with all his tweets. It's almost like Wag the Dog, the movie, where he's trying to divert attention from what is going on in this legitimate investigation, which is anything but a witch hunt. Do you think he's acting guilty or innocent? He is clearly acting guilty. If he doesn't have anything to hide, why isn't he going to just make complete and full disclosure, give out all the documents that he could possibly give out, and just answer all the questions, let all his people testify. He has to be worried right now who's going to be the first to flip on him. Is it going to be Paul Manafort, who clearly is in legal jeopardy for a number of potential crimes? Who is it going to be? Is it already Flynn? Is he already cooperating with the government? I don't know who it is, but someone probably is, and that may be why he's so worried and so anxious to shut this investigation down. And I would have never thought I would have supported uh, Attorney General Sessions. He does not stand for anything I believe in, except in this case he is doing the right thing, and I hope he will have the courage to withstand the Twitter attacks and to stay in his job. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.